First two pieces that I'll need in order to start building this Glock 19. The pistol frame. Ow. And the trigger mechanism. I got everything except for the slide on the way. I still gotta buy the slide. I'm gonna wait and take care of some priorities before I buy that because that's gonna be the most pricey part of the gun. Because I'm trying to get one that matches this. So. Alright. So I got part of the trigger mechanism put in here. As you see here, I got the trigger put in. However, I still need the locking block and several other components in order to complete it. Those are all ordered and on the way. After I get those and I put them all in, I'll have everything in here put in, the barrel and every other component that goes with it. Then all I have to do is buy the slide that I got to put on top. After that, all I'll need to do is buy a clip. So this Glock 19 is in the making. As you see here, I have to remove this, so I'm going to sand it down. I'm going to do the same thing right here. I got to remove this, and then, you know, sand it down. Uh, whoops. Got to remove this and this, sand it down all the way. And I got a... Uh, do a couple more modifications to the frame before I can put all the parts in. Alright. So I got a little bit of cleanup work to do to make this look a little bit more clean and professional, but I sanded down the parts that I need to sand down. Gotta do a little bit of cleanup work in there, but... It's pretty good. Just gotta make it look a little bit better. I'm gonna polish it up a little bit. And then all I have to do is put three holes in the gun for the pins. So I thought this was pretty cool. I bought a magwell for my Glock 19 and a locking block. And they sent me this with it. Those are stickers, but they also sent me this little cool army dude. I haven't seen one of these since I've been a kid. Fuck yeah. So, the Magwell, what that is, is basically that's this. I screw it in down here, and that allows the clips to go in a lot easier and eject a lot easier. And the locking block goes right there. That's what allows the slide to stay on. All I have to do now is you can see a hole right there and a hole right there. So what I got to do is put two holes on this side that level with the holes right there. And then luckily this one already has a hole that goes through. But that is what allows the slide to stay on. I have another one on the way that I'll need. and I got all the other components in my room here with me. Okay. So, I started drilling the holes for this locking block. And it took a lot longer than I thought because I'm trying to get each hole perfectly lined up with the hole in there where you see the pin that I finally got to go in and fit with this side. I need to make a smaller hole right above that big hole for right there. And then I gotta put the pin in there, which I haven't done yet. Fuck yeah, it's coming along. Still got to put everything together, but I'm waiting until I have all the pieces. I only need the slide now, and then I can put it all together.
put my own holes in there. It was a little tricky, but I managed. I had to do some sanding in there, as you see, but not too bad. And I'm going to go through there and polish it up so it doesn't look as uh, unprofessionally sanded as it does now. <laughs> Hell fucking yeah. I had this made and manufactured in Italy from an Italian, specifically designed for my Glock 19 polymer 80 build. He said it would get a little scratched up because it's not scratch resistant, but I told him I'll polish it up and make it look all brand new like I'm doing with the other metal components I'm putting in this Glock 19 Polymer 80 build. <laughs> all I need now is the slide that goes on top. I got everything else. I had this made by some, it's an Italian barrel. Nine millimeter barrel. P80, which means polymer 80. No serial number. Got the holes there. Trigger pieces. Uh, trigger pieces. Barrel and slide pieces. <laughs> so as you see here, I have the rear frame module put in. I still need to drill a hole here to hold it, the rear frame module in. I got the locking block put in. And I got all the holes drilled in there. I also bought stainless steel pins for all of these places where I have holes, including the one I'm going to put back here. I also bought a stainless steel extended uh, slide lock for in there, right here. All I need now is a slide. So, what I bought was these four things, but now they're all going to be stainless steel. I also bought one extra pin that will go back here to hold the rear frame module in. So, this build's coming along. It should be done by the second of next month. Maybe before that. It's going to look pretty fucking good. For my first build. My second build is going to be a little bit more advanced with more modifications. This is just my practice build for my first build. Alright. Got the extended slide lock put in. I switched it out for a stainless steel one. We got the mag release put in and I switched out all the pins for stainless steel as well got this put in it holds that in place the frame is all put together all the pieces are put inside now all I need to do is get the slide and the clip and put the upper part together. Everything functions properly. First pistol build, not too bad.
All right. We now have a fully assembled Glock 19. All I have to do now is wait on a new clip. Turns out, just like our AK-47 years ago, for whatever reason, the PMEGs always, 9 times out of 10, have some sort of issue either feeding rounds through it or staying in the clip. Staying in the guns. Sorry. However, we have a fully assembled Glock 19. Whoops. Let's say you're inside your house and it's 3 a.m. and you're asleep and all of a sudden you hear your door get kicked in. Well, what better way to blind your enemies than with a 1,350 LED lumen flashlight? You can either use the strobe or the flashlight itself. Either way, you're blinding your enemies, making it very difficult for them to get at you. Let her leave, ain't no reason to trip Oh yeah, he a gangster, he ain't really a pimp Ain't no way, I'ma die cause a silly ass bitch Scars on the wrist, she tried taking a life Talk about crazy, you wanna make her your wife I'm a five star general, ain't no taking my stripes In the city where the Take it from a street nigga, you don't want beef nigga, you ain't fucking with a lame, GMG that's the game, want the fortune and the fame, people really know the name, people really talk a lot, but they never bust a glock, trying to make it to the top, promise I'll never stop, Mingo said you gotta live and stay up on your fucking grids, I told him I got you bro, hold your head and never fold, we gon' kick it when you home and Matty Block gon' really slow, d be the sickest nigga, trying to make my figures bigger, but you know we in the drought, just kicking out that word to mouth, money in my radar, that cushion in my blunt, that remedy in my body and success is a must. Screaming, grind hard to fam. Till I take my last breath and rest in peace, my nigga Dro. Everything is double S. I see snakes in the grass, so it's time to cut them down. I don't see no competition, no the squad where the crowd meets. Walked right up in Walmart with this pistol in my pocket and my hoodie off. Walked past the fucking sheriff. He looked at my pistol and looked at me and gave me the head nod and said, What's up? How's it going? And I said, Pretty good. Can't complain. If that doesn't make you feel like an American, damn it, I don't know what does. <laughs> That's fucking freedom. My name David, now I'm Capitol I come with a blitz and a clip filled with cop killers Drink go like a pit, first it hit, then it lock niggas Catch you with a op, you get popped if you rock with them Pull up on this block, leave them stank like a fight, hit em. We do pull up, 